nor let slack in their form. Oh my God, I want her to be my teacher too. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another winning video! It is I, your derpy girl, Win, and today I am reacting to A Flash, which is the first and latest animated short for Honkai Star Rail. This is actually my first ever Honkai Star Rail video that I'm uploading, and I'm really enjoying the game so far for someone who doesn't usually play turn-based games. I might release more thoughts in another video or post, but so far, I've done the story for the first world, i played a bit of Simulator Universe, and I'm basically just trying to build up my characters for the future. I have not stepped foot on the second planet, Shenzo Lofu, but maybe after watching the short, I'll have a little bit more of an idea of what to expect. So without further ado, let's watch together! Wow, look at that MiHoYo anime logo! Very fancy! Clearly, this is not a one-time thing for Hoyoverse. They plan on doing more shorts and more animations in the future, which is exciting. Okay, okay, I see a blade. Oh, is that Jingyuan? Grandpa Kazuha? Okay, it, it looks like it is. Wait, he's approaching. Wait, who's the lady? He's got red eyes. Oath. As clouds that cover the heavens, will the oh no. protect the Sienjo. The Sienjo. Yes, master. What weird in English pronunciation, but the Oh. Whoa. She passed. Wait, why do they look like siblings with the red, uh, the white eyes, or sorry, the white hair? Oh, I want her to be my teacher too. <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa! What animation quality? Holy cow! Master, he doesn't recognize us. So it is with the Mara. <gasps> to become stricken with Mara is to be a long life species. If I too become stricken in times hereafter, you must not hold back. Yes, Master. Ooh. Wait, isn't that Sino's voice in English? Same voice actor? No sense of time, humanity waiting, a serious case. You should leave, Jing Yuan. Jing Yuan is so funny. Oh, are we back in the present now? Oh, what an epic background. With the pavilion in ruins. What's behind her, though? Where are they? Is this what Shinzo Lofu looks like? Oh no. His resolve has strengthened! Oh my god! The music! When the music hits! Ooh, the fade out to white and the, the pencil lines as everything gets swallowed up in the blast. 9,996? 9,997? 9998 Oh, that's Yanting. A cloud knight must never let slip their weapon, nor let slack in their form. <laughs> Though, you'll have to grow a little taller before the knights will have. Oh, no, not the height comment. I want to be like you, general. I want to be a famous Yanjo legend. <laughs> you do. It is a difficult road. But that's the road you took, right, general? 
Ooh. Oh no, what if... <laughs> what if the Mark gets... Seeing as you're so full of gets fight, Jingyuan one day? Yeah. What if history repeats itself? Oh, it seems like they have a cute teacher-student relationship, though. Wow. That was wild. All right, Mihoyo, I see you. Trying to be out here like a Riot Games, doing an amazing all-around job in aspects other than games. We already know how amazing Yu Ping Chan and Hoyo Mix are with their musical scores in Genshin, but these animations are really top-notch as well. It's not just the visuals, but also the movements in the fight scenes and how they're choreographed. I really think that my favorite part is when Jing Liu, I think is her name, thrusts her sword at Jingyuan and he dodges and sees his own reflection in the blade and then goes to the flashback or whatever. That moment is still replaying in my head. Jeez! And then in that one frame when Jinglu first appeared, I suddenly remember. Uh, I have a weakness for white-haired characters. Usually guys in the past, but you know, there's a uh, first time for everything. <laughs> Just like how Jingyuan seems to be the exception to that rule. Even though he has white hair, I think he's like okay looking, but maybe that'll change in the future. Speaking of though, his ultimate looked really really cool. He kind of exudes the same type of energy to me as Zhongli. I don't know if that's true or if other people disagree. And now having learned a bit more of his backstory in the short, the parallels to me seem even more apparent, where both of them have a history of people that they've lost, having to see their loved ones around them pass away. But I'm looking forward to getting to know him more in the game now, so... And then finally, it's really cool that we got to know more about Yanqing as well. He has a special place in my heart, my son, because I won him for my first ever standard 10 poll, which is really, really exciting and very lucky. I just hope that in the future, Yanqing and Jingyuan's relationship doesn't end up the same as Jingyuan's and Jingliu's. Uh, we saw a lot of parallels with um, them being the teacher and the student and Jinglu having taught Jingyuan everything he needs to know but I just hope that history doesn't repeat itself but you know since this is Honkai uh... <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts about the short and about Star Rail below in the comments I'm gonna go play more Star Rail now but if you ever want to watch make sure to catch me on twitch.tv slash otherwise in the meantime take care and stay winning